is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. A quarter century after Saigon fell, the war in Vietnam still grips the memories of many who fought there. For some few, the years have not been kind. The Veterans Administration estimates a quarter of a million Americans, soldiers once and young, are older now and homeless. In tonight's American Dream, you meet a woman who knew them then and who devotes her life to them still. I think it's absolutely a disgrace that in this country... He to lives those under bridges, who have served under in trees. War. Chris Noel has made it her American dream to put a roof over every homeless Vietnam veteran's head. And I wanted to do something for the homeless veterans, so I just did it. I went out and I rented a place and said, this is a shelter for homeless veterans. <laughs> Noel runs her three Florida shelters like a military barracks. No drinking, no drugs, no smoking. I am a drill sergeant. <laughs> in the mid-60s, Noel was a rising Hollywood starlet. It was a glamorous life far away from the war raging in Vietnam. But when the Pentagon asked her to go and entertain the troops, she jumped at the chance. I wanted to go to Vietnam and make a difference. Noelle embarked on a four-year tour of duty to boost GI morale. Sometimes that meant risking her life. I was caught in sniper fire. I went down in a helicopter. I had fear. But uh, no, I had a job to do. Now, almost 30 years later, Noelle still has a job to do, and she is still in the spotlight, but before a new audience. The homeless veteran is a federal problem, not a local community problem. Like most people who dedicate themselves to others, Chris Noelle spends a lot of time raising money. She has events planned from now right through the summer. Now, from the number one rated television station in Florida, this is Today on Fox. If you're a Vietnam veteran, you know the name Chris Noel. The West Palm Beach native was the voice of Armed Forces Radio in the late 1960s and early 70s. She put her acting career as a Hollywood starlet on hold to serve her country and entertain the troops. As John Favoli reports from the anchor desk, these days when many people her age are planning their retirement, Chris Noel is still working hard for the vets. The Vetsville Ceasefire House sits tucked away in a Boynton Beach neighborhood. Inside, you find the mementos of Vietnam and the pain of war. It's written on these faces. But before we delve further into the soldier sanctuary, it's important to meet its founder. Who is Chris Noel? Chris Noel. Chris Noel. Chris Noel. Here she is, Chris Noel. A former Hollywood starlet who counts Elvis Presley. Thank you, thank you. Steve McQueen, Jackie Gleason, and Dennis Hopper among her leading men. In fact, when some were calling her the next Marilyn Monroe, she gave it all up and headed to Vietnam to entertain the troops. You gotta make the morning light. I went to the hospital in, in, um, in San Diego and San Francisco, and I went to the gangrene ward, a double and triple amputees. And when I left, I mean, it just like totally changed my, 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 my whole being, and I knew that I had to do something. She did something all right. Chris ditched Hollywood and hit the airwaves over Armed Forces Radio, oh a real-life so version of the Robin and Williams character in Good Morning Vietnam. This was her life from 1966 to 1971, a long way from her former safe, make-believe world. We're in a vehicle, and... There's wire on every on all the windows, and I go, well, why are all, why is the wire on all, all the windows? That's in case they throw a grenade, it'll bounce right off. Okay. Chris went where the action was. She was even shot down once while riding in a helicopter. But her biggest tragedy came after the war, when her fairy tale marriage ended quickly and tragically. This is the the fellow that I met in Vietnam, Captain Ty Harrington, and he became my. Uh, my husband, mm. and then he came back and um, we were married 11 months and he put a gun to his head in Nashville and killed himself and that was pretty devastating. Oh, Chris. It was horrible. Having dealt with the after effects of war personally has allowed Chris to open her heart to vets who are dealing with their own issues. Veterans can always use a little support. The ones here in South Florida are very fortunate to have someone like Chris Noel in their corner. She's making things happen.